all right so we're back here the next day had a fantastic day yesterday got so much done when the engine got in the car because after that i think all of us just wanted to get as many of the parts on it as possible so we've uh, got the <laughs> exhaust mounted not properly it's actually just on with cable ties at the moment because uh, i've not got bolts or exhaust hangers so Currently just wanted to mock it up, see how it looked with the bumper. Sits a little bit far out, but it's because the mid-pipe is off of a EK9, so they're usually they usually tend to be just a wee bit longer, so maybe just about an inch or two off of the mid-pipe will pull the back box back a wee bit. So one of the hangers will be able to reach that sort of the rear back box hanger because there's two underneath the bumper and two just uh, behind the control arm. So, well, I'm sorry, one just behind the control arm and that one's sitting a wee bit offset. So I reckon if I take about an inch off of the mid pipe, that'll have that line pretty much bang on. And it'll also have the exhaust sitting just that little bit, just that little bit further in because right there it's just sticking out a wee bit too much. So yeah, I'll get that, get that done at a later date, but it fits which is kind of the main thing, so yeah, not too bothered. Also got uh, gear linkage sorted. Now, have a look at this. I have never experienced a Honda with a tighter gear linkage than this. It's incredible. Awesome, so happy with that. Also, give me a chance to fit the skunk to weighted gear knob as well, which is great. Handbrake cables are fitted, so that's another job done. This is fully functioning now. So yeah, that's more stuff ticked off the list. Uh, engine bay wise, we had a bit of a nightmare. So the mounts that I previously had were D-series mounts, so I couldn't use them. I managed to get a full set of uh, good mounts from uh, my mate Fraser uh, over at Japcom. So he sorted me out with mounts and all the bolts that I needed in order to fit them. So we've got innovative mounts and uh, one half sport mount as well, but I mean, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But again, the next problem I had was in the gearbox mount, there's supposed to be two studs and one bolt. However, mine had no studs. So if you look here, this is supposed to be a bolt and these two are supposed to be studs. So none of them were there. So I managed to actually mock up a bolt off of the rear hanger L bracket here. So I managed to use that in there. It was a wee bit, wee bit too long, so I cut it down. It was a bit sketchy, so we just wanted to get the engine in the base. So done whatever we could in order to make that happen. However, I was still missing this bolt and the bolt from the top of the L bracket on the engine side. Uh, because obviously that one was sacrificed for the other side of the gearbox mount. But went to Mohsen's today and picked up his bolt trays and managed to find in amongst all of this two perfect bolts to fit in there that worked brilliant. So that's now tightened up, don't have to worry about that. The next one I need to think about is the gear linkage because uh, the stabilizer bar from the gear linkage I didn't have a bolt to fit into that to get that secure um, despite the fact that it feels great but uh, yeah need that bolt in there in order to just secure that stabilizer bar so that's next on the list i'm going to do that and uh, also got got spacers don't know if i'll use them i mean i'll just wait and see what the fitment's like and then take it from there uh, got some lug nuts though which is great and they're also the internal drive ones, internal spline drive ones. So even more sort of theft resistant. But anyways, I am going to crack on with this, just getting everything sort of tidied up and stuff. What is happening everyone? So having another bit of a nightmare with this little Z3, got a binding caliper on the near side front. Today we're gonna to be trying to fix that. Luckily, got Aaron and Adam sorted me out, got a caliper here, 
got my brother, he's planning on doing a service on his car today, so he's away to uh, go and grab his service parts. So I asked him to pick up some discs and pads for this as well, because it is absolutely cooked. Like, have a look at this. These wheels are supposed to be bronze, and this is just all grey and horrible. And the heat that's coming off of that is... Oh, it's not nice. Not nice at all. Plan for today, get that caliper changed, get the distant pads changed on the front end. And Thursday, first Thursday of November, so we're going to be heading through to Falkirk Cruise tonight with the lads. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But right, let's get started on this little Z3. So with everything going smoothly, obviously that's never going to be the case with me. Turns out, caliper is perfect, fits well, it's not as totally free, you know, got that on and it's fine. Right, there we go. Right, so caliper's on, however, problem now is this bleed nipple that came out of this one does not fit in here. Gonna try and make a trip to Euro Car Parts, see if we can pick up a caliper from there and just get this thing back on the road because well I need it to take me home. <laughs> so yeah. You're good with saving me in this situation. Yeah, yeah. 68 for a new caliper. That's alright, not bad. Right, hop in the in the German whip. And let's let's go and start this car out. <laughs> Made it back, now uh, got the caliper, absolute nightmare, but we've got Danny, so we've got plans to head out tonight, Falkirk Cruise, uh, should be a decent one, but yeah, so need to get this car sorted, so yeah, gonna crack on, and hopefully we can get some scan before we head through. How's it feeling? Solid. Yeah, it's tight. That was the quickest bleed <laughs> I've ever done in my life. to go discs are done pads are done got the new caliper on the other side so hopefully this thing should be running absolutely perfect Danny's holding the collapsed sun <laughs> the thing is insanely bright <laughs> yeah right we're gonna split off go and get something to eat and then head through to Falkirk and uh, see what's going on over there I'm a Muppet <laughs> what's happening Danny? <laughs> right off of it so yeah, went to go and tidy up, I realised that I've not put this bracket on. So gonna see if I can do it without putting the wheel well taking the wheel off. 
Right, Danny, let's see if we can do this. At this rate, it would have been quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm committed now. <laughs> Oh, that's only good. Yes. And there we go. Right. Clip is in. Perfect. Oh, jeez. Would have been easier just taking the wheel off, but... Why do it the easy way when you can do it the hard way, right? <laughs> Nightmare. Right. Z3 made it. It was a good day. It ended up just at a wee car park anyway, because the meet yeah. got closed down. Didn't end up recording much, because, to be honest, it wasn't as good as it was last time. But, hold on <laughs> right. but yeah so got the sick fucking xjs 1300 here go on then jack go on <laughs> let's hear it <laughs> oh, absolute nuts this thing man and then andy woohoo andy just got a 125 this thing is so cool! It's not as impressive. It might not be as impre impressive, but mate, it's, <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yes! Oh yes! Horsepower, baby. <laughs> that thing is so cool. I've been jumping on and off that all night. Makes me want another bike. <laughs> but Danny is having troubles with his car. Battery won't charge, so he needs a jump start every single time he turns it off. Got Fisher here, so he's doing the job today. Aye. Right. So, it's been a good night. Again, just chilling, taking it easy. Got bikes, cars, nice mix. But, aye, right, not bad day. Successful day. Managed to get the Z3 done, so that's actually running amazing. It was just great fun or being able to just put power on the road without a sticky caliper. Bye Andy! <laughs> He's banging the limiter on that thing! <laughs> oh, it's been a good night. But anyways, next video we'll be cracking on with either the EG or the S14. So yeah, looking forward to getting more work done on them. Yeah, I guess that's it. So. Peace out, I'll see you in the next one.